Welcome back to another nature break. My name is Deanna and today we are talking about the Mustelidae family. The Mustelidae falls under the order Carnivora and it is the largest family uh, that is in that order. In the Mustelidae there are 56 to 60 different species that are all included and eight subfamilies. Most common animals of the Mustelidae family that we know of here in the Michigan area uh, or here in the United States in general are weasels, badgers, otters, ferrets, marten, mink, wolverine, and fishers. Today I am narrowing it down and we are talking about just a few of the Mustelidae family that we have here in Michigan. One of those is the short tail weasel or the ermine um, and those guys are only this big as an adult. So as an adult they generally are less than a pound up to maybe a pound they change the colors of fur based on the seasons. In the summertime, their fur turns from this beautiful white color to a tan or brown color. So that way they are able to blend in and or camouflage in the area that they live in. Now the short tail weasel or the ermine, these guys live in forested areas, usually close to a river. Now they are carnivores and they feed on a multitude of different types of animals such as frogs, fish, mice and voles and moles, along with other small animals. The next I am going to talk about is the American mink. Now the American mink is a lot more common than you may realize. These guys generally live near water and where it's forested around water because they usually seek out rotting holes for dens or old dens that other animals have created. Now these guys are a little bit larger than the ermine or the short tail weasel. They are more so the size of a common ferret that you may see as a pet. These guys can be up to two pounds in size but these guys are semi-aquatic, meaning they love to swim. Unlike the short tail weasel, mink actually are known for being able to swim almost 30 feet in a straight line underwater or more. These guys are known for being able to jump into the water and they diet heavily on aquatic things such as fish, frogs, and even waterfowl. Mink can actually be very commonly seen and have been seen by many visitors here at Formar. They are crepuscular which means that they are most active during dusk and dawn so if you ever have a chance to come out and visit by sunrise or sunset time uh, by one of our many ponds that we have you may be able to see a mink for yourself. The next two that I'm going to kind of clump these two together um, because they are very similar yet very different are the pine martin and the fisher. Pine martin and fishers were over hunted and trapped for their fur and back in the 1950s, they were declared completely exterminated out of Michigan. And if you go online, you can read a little more about it than what I will tell you about today is in the 1960s, uh, the Michigan DNR partnered with local nature centers and nature conservancies in Ontario, Canada. And they have been doing projects since then to reintroduce pine martens and fishers here in Michigan. Now these guys are arboreal, so unlike our mink and the short tail weasel that are commonly swimming, um, these guys are arboreal, which means that they are really great at climbing into trees. And so that changes up their diet a little bit. They don't eat very commonly fish and frogs like the mink, but these guys will actually 
climb through the trees and are super agile enough to get squirrels and birds right out of the trees. There is a bit of a size difference between pine martens and fishers. Pine martens generally only grow between one and four pounds, where fishers can be up to 12 pounds, which is closer to the size of a house cat. In total, the Mustelidae family is a very unique family. They have a lot of members and a lot of different species that range all over in Michigan, whether that be in treetops or down by the water or swimming in the water like our river otters. Now, almost all of these guys are nocturnal or crepuscular, meaning they're out in dusk and dawn, and they are almost entirely all active year round. So unlike some of our other animals that may hibernate, these guys are very active. They are known for especially the ones that we talked about today, for storing food and eating it later. And so a lot of them will have caches of stored food that they are able to go to to feed off of. Thank you guys for joining me today talking about the Mustelidae family. And stay tuned for the next nature break here at Formar. Bye guys. Get away right away at Genesee County Parks. For more, visit geneseecountyparks.org.